Good afternoon. Thank you all so much for, for coming. Uh, I'm Sheriff Javier Salazar with the Bear County Sheriff's Office. Uh, wanted to, uh, of course, give, uh, give some uh, comments regarding today's uh, verdict. Uh, but before I do, I would like to invite up Mr. Anderson, uh, Andrine's uh, dad. Uh, he wanted to make a com some comments, uh, Ed, but out of respect for his wishes, I would ask that, that he, he's, he's indicated he doesn't want any questions. He just wants to make his statement. And then I'll step up and I'll, I'll fill in where, wherever I can. So, Mr. Anderson? Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. I just want to say to the world, thanks for the very support. They have been supporting us as a family throughout, since 2019, and they stood with us. I want to, although I won't be able to tell each and every one thanks personally, but there's a certain group that I really like to extend a very thank you to, to the security forces, to the firemen, the vo people who volunteer their time, take time out from their family to come out to search for my baby in 2019. And we still have some of those people that are still standing with us today. I want to tell you that we really appreciate it. Thank you very much. God bless you. Well, thank you. I mean, I don't know that I could have said it any better myself. Um, it's an emotional day for us at the sheriff's office. Uh, although, ultimately, it's no secret that the, the verdict is not what we had hoped for. Um, and and it, at the risk of speaking for the family, I, I, I do say so. I, I would venture to say it wasn't what they had hoped for. We obviously respect the jury's decision. Uh, you know, we certainly respect the court, the court's actions and decision. Uh, so we will, we will live with the result of today. Um, the thousands upon thousands of man hours that went into the search for Andrine, uh, the, the thousands upon thousands of, of man hours that went into building the case uh, that, that our investigators, our CID, our homicide folks put together, um, you know, they tend to beat themselves up over their work, but I can tell you I'm their biggest fan and their biggest supporter. I'm proud to lead them and I'm proud of the, the work product that they put out. Uh, and so the thousands of man hours that went into this, this whole case went toward giving Andrine's family hopefully some closure, hopefully some peace, and hopefully a sense of justice of the, that they were searching for. Um, and so my hope is that today that, that, they, that they were able to achieve that. Uh, esta tarde, nosotros estamos aquí, uh, ahora sí, eh, estamos un poco desesperados con el resultado de, de lo que pasó en la corte, pero uh, respetamos la, el proceso uh, de los jurados, uh, respetamos el, el, el uh, proceso del juez y tenemos que respetar el, el proceso. Entonces nosotros, yo les, les quiero dar la, las gracias a mis oficiales que trabajaron tan duro Les quiero dar las gracias a, a los, los miembros del público de, que, que vinieron y los ayuda, los, nos ayudaron a nosotros con la búsqueda por el cuerpo de, de Andrine. Y nosotros esperamos, quisiéramos uh, que, que la familia encuentre en paz uh, después de todo lo que ha pasado. Y uh, 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 honestamente, uh, yo solamente les, les quiero uh, dar mi respeto a la familia por lo que han pasado. Y pues espero que, que ellos... Uh, uh, tienen orgullo de, de todo el trabajo que nosotros hicimos y, y de, también la comunidad que nos ayudó tanto uh, con el proceso, proceso este. Any questions that you all might have? Algo que dice que no era lo que esperaban eh, esta decisión. ¿Qué era lo que ustedes tal vez esperaban y qué sigue ahora, obviamente, con la sentencia? Bueno, nosotros, nosotros hicimos nuestro trabajo. Nuestros oficiales hicieron trabajo... Uh, mucho trabajo en, en esto y, y trabajo de calidad, ¿verdad? Entonces, para mí es un orgullo poder trabajar con esos profesionales que hacen lo que, lo que hacen. Uh, nosotros uh, eh, pusimos al, al principio el, el cargo de homicidio, de murder, y pues es lo que nosotros es, tenemos las esperanzas que iba a pasar. Uh, obviamente no logramos eso, sino que eh, el, el cargo de, de, de manslaughter, que es, es, un, es una, un cargo más menor de lo que nos, 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 nosotros estábamos busca, buscando, pero uh, nosotros respetamos el proceso y pues uh, sigue, el, sigue la lucha contra el, el crimen. What are you well, obviously we're hoping for, for a just sentence. Uh, you know, I, I, if that, whatever that tends to look like in the eyes of, of the judge. Uh, I've you know, got the utmost respect for Judge Castro, known him for several years, and 
uh, you know, I've got all the faith in the world that he's going to make the right decision, whatever that may be to him. Para mí, para, para mí, uh, yo dejo esa, esa respuesta en, en, las, en las manos de, los, de la familia. Uh, ¿Qué les trae más paz para ellos? Uh, yo, ojalá y nunca, su, nunca sabe, sé lo que, lo que es pa, perder un, un, una hija, en, 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 especialmente en una manera así. Entonces, para mí, yo solamente quiero que estas personas uh, encuentren la paz uh, des, después de todo esto. Well, that's to be expected, right? We know that that's what defense attorneys do, is they attack every, every little shred of whatever they can hang on to, whatever they can glean on to, uh, to, to shed some sort of a doubt. Uh, I can tell you right now, though, the investigators that put this together, all my, all my investigators did an outstanding job in this, and I couldn't, I couldn't possibly ask them to put in any more effort into this. They put their heart and soul into it, and... and you know, clearly now I, I see that they're disappointed in the outcome overall, but that's not to say they, they didn't do an outstanding job. And again, they, they just make me extremely proud. Sheriff, um, can you describe for us uh, how you're feeling at this point and maybe the feelings? Is it frustration? Is it, um, is it disappointment? But you all worked very hard in this case, <clears throat> and it's just come to fruition for 2022. When I first met Mr. Anderson at the uh, search, you know, I'm... I've got two daughters. You know, he, he lost a daughter. And although at that time, on that day that we were out searching the, the, the woods and the, the military base and just everywhere we possibly could, it was freezing at that time, um, I just said to him as, as one girl dad to another, I, I, want, I want to find your little girl worse than anything. And, and I, I, I pledged to him that we weren't going to stop until we found her and until we brought whoever was responsible for it to justice. Um, that, that's what happened today. Um, he, he got what 12 jurors decided was going to be justice. And of course I can't, like I said, I, I respect their decision. Am I, am I disappointed that the outcome wasn't everything that I could have possibly wanted and that my homicide folks worked very, very hard for? Absolutely, I'm disappointed in that. However, if, if the family is able to find peace and closure, uh, then I'm happy. I'm, I'm happy with that outcome for them. How about the way he acted in court? He seemed to have no remorse, no type of sincerity at all. Um, so, well, I'm, I'm, glad, uh, I'm glad you made the same observation that I did. So the first time I met uh, Andre, the first time I ever came face to face with him, was in the Sally Port uh, when we, we walked him uh, for the cameras. We, we walked him in and booked him in. And what I saw was just uh, eyes that were devoid of any sort of, of human emotion um, and just an arrogance about him, just an air of arrogance and complete, I'm going to get away with this. Uh, I'm smarter than, than everybody else. I'm certainly smarter than all these cops, uh, and I'm going to get away with this. And I, quite frankly, my thoughts to myself was, you may think that, but I'll be damned if that's what happened. And it, and it didn't. Uh, and so um, I'd certainly like to see what the look on his face now. I, I did get to see um, him back here. You saw that I followed the deputies back. And, and he seemed to have a little bit more humility about him uh, once, once we got to the back here. I, I will tell you, um, it's just going to come out. Uh, I did present Mr. Anderson with a gift. Uh, I asked my deputy to remove the handcuffs from, from Andre as they put him back into the um, cell and I gave I presented those cuffs to to Mr. Anderson uh, just as a token of our appreciation for everything that he's gone through and again just to re uh, I want that to be a reminder of all the hard work on on behalf of these first responders that I'm blessed to lead uh, maybe it's just a, a small reminder of him that he can take back with him home and know that at the sheriff's office there's a whole bunch of people that poured their heart and soul into finding justice for his little girl Para mí, la, la impresión que él me dejó desde el principio, que lo, yo lo conocí cuando lo, lo arrestamos del principio, desde el principio, uh, él uh, como que es una persona con mucha arrogancia, uh, una persona chocante. Y pues uh, para mí, yo es todo lo que vi, no tenía emoción, uh, no tenía sentido uh, por lo que, lo que él había, le había hecho a su esposa, a la madre de, sus, de su hija. 
y a la familia de ella que, que la quieren tanto. Uh, pero ya me dio mucho gusto poder pasar para aquí, para acá con mis oficiales, para atrás, y ya vi un, un, una uh, vista muy diferente en la, en la cara de, de Andre McDonald. Y, y yo pues quisiera que, que él uh, se enfrente con toda la justicia que, que nosotros le podemos dar. Um, while I was not in the courtroom during the testimony, uh, I did, I was able to view some of it online and I was really quite shocked and taken aback by the, by the graphic nature of it and just the matter of fact manner that he was saying that he did this and then did this and, um, to me it almost sounded like he was just describing where he went last night and what he watched on TV afterwards. And I just was just totally disturbed by that fact that he was able to describe it with such nonchalance. And you wouldn't think that he was talking about the, the mother of his child. You would think that he wasn't talking about somebody that he was married to. And obviously at some point I would guess loved and cared for a, a great deal. Um, I just, but again, it doesn't surprise me based on the fact that from the moment I first met him, when we first made the arrest on the misdemeanor charge initially, um, I just thought of him as a very arrogant, self-centered person, and boy, did he prove us right. Last question? Thank you all so much for joining us today. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.